Hey now, what's up everyone? How everyone is doing? I'm gonna do that. See how it works. Um I've been picking up so much through the Tim service, through the for the CBRF. I just finished out the week with 99 hours. Um right along with that. I also have an interview with one of the facilities that we go through. Um, I need, lately, the last couple of days before, before the week this has passed, I've been getting counseling twice at the same facility, where a different facility. So I need some a little bit more sustainable. It's one facility I get counseled so much. It's only one client that you take care of, but it's always something with this one client that I take care of. But so so now I am looking for stability, like really, really bad, if I can rack up again. I mean, I still get hours at two other facilities, but sometimes the day that I want to work, sometimes they don't have it available, and I don't work from Sunday to Saturday. I switch up my days. I work maybe five days in a week, and then my five days, I have a double in that week so i'm doing 12 hours or um 17 hours of shift because majority of these are seven and six or 12 and eight so they let you overlap i think the last couple of times i did 24 back to back and they caught that my shift was almost over anyway but they were trying to see me um trying to hurry from fine cover but it is what it is. I forgot that I did that. I didn't pay attention. So I got it approved and I did it. So it was two 12 hour shifts. So two 12 hour shift is 24 hours. So yeah, so I just really did 90, I said 91 or 99, 99 hours. So um, no, I'm not doing Christmas shopping. If I do Christmas shopping, it'd be for me, for, me, me, me. So, um, yeah. Ooh, this is a short video. That ain't too much. It'd be a short video. But I just did 99. Um. Oh, let me tell y'all. Some, uh, some of the staff come in looking like this. I have a regular shirt on. And some sweatpants on. With a scarf on my head. That staff come like this. I saw one lady came in with a tank top looking like this. I mean, it was like this, really, but it was like, with some ladies on. She had a, yes, she had a scarf on her head, a little small tank top with some ladies on coming in to work to relieve me. <laughs> all I could do was just laugh inside. That's all I could, that's all I can do. That's all I really could do. We're just laughing inside like, oh my God. And they didn't talk like so bad. This one facility, I had to hunt for stuff. There was no gloves. There was no bleach. There was no, it was not like, it was not given. It was not given organization. Even though this is a small facility, it's a group home setting, this is a house. These were residents live in. So they was, they, it's more of a, they put it as they can do much they can do as much for themselves, but we're just monitoring the kitchen because they ain't supposed to touch the stove. But most of them was cooking, I mean fixing food. They was mostly about the symptoms of Roman noodles or cereal. I did lunch and dinner for them. They ate that. I cleaned, they washed their own. They ain't supposed to walk, uh, go in the basement because they um, they have medication. They a little bit woo over the bridge and under the bridge and come back again the little 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 special little mental challenge a little bit but most was only one of them could go in the basement washing clothes they didn't supposed to do that but this is how they the person set it up so um in the midst too yeah i did a 12 hour shift i couldn't record because the it's one person that talks to you talks to you the the death. Um, so you have to redirect him, like redirect them like five times. Like go watch football, the football game on, or the soccer game on, or the tennis. 
it's like you repeat it every time. So it was like, oh my God. Um, I cleaned, I swept. I mop. When I found the gloves, it was in the eye spot in the bathroom. When I found the cleaning stuff, it was in, like when you come in, it was like sit off a closet right there. Like, and the person who puts a relieve you, a relieve, you didn't even get report. Um, I have another video about that one. But yeah, like, you couldn't even say what is what. You can say where stuff is at. Like, I've been at this house, and I already said, I've never been at this house, so where stuff is at? It's like I have to ask for extra stuff. That's annoying. Like, are they combative? Where the chart where they chart at? Or do they cook for themselves? What do you, or do they, is the Hoyers here? Or there's a cost me bags? Are there two fears? Like, what type of, I want to know what type of people in this house. What I just got myself into. Um, when you pick up the shift, they let you, it give you a brief, like all men's house or all women's house. I didn't have to change nobody. So everybody does everything for themselves. Um, I just had to write, just kind of my, just kind of companion a little bit, monitor them, give them their medication. Um, they cook, they fix food for themselves. It's only two people that you do. Do the cleaning for them. Um, kind of basically house it. That's what I call it. That's what I'm going to call it. I call it house sitting. Um, yes, like house sitting. I clean. I had to clean twice. Like the person that I relieved, then you can tell they didn't really clean nothing. Didn't sweep or nothing. So they didn't walk in my chair. They didn't walk in my mat. Everybody stayed in one room. So once it was done, then everybody moved around. But, yeah, I had one incident with one patient. Um, had they had a behavior issue. <sighs> he got it together. He understood the assignment very well. Um, the house manager, when you, and this is the bad part about this company, you think when you, somebody coming in into your facility, you will do a drop off or you will call. Um, you'll call and say, this is where stuff at. If you go like out the door, around the corner, or you go in, it's a closet or sitting off your left side, on um, off the kitchen or off the hallway, or there's a certain, the keys, all the keys is with the med keys. Is certain keys on there. I'm not for sure what key, cause it's not labeled. You know, stuff like that. But no, it, it didn't, it was not given that. It wasn't given that thought. Mm -mm, mm, it wasn't even given that. You know what was given? You got to hunt for it. You got to train yourself or you have to find stuff which you're supposed to do. Yes, I have experience in this. Yes, I have to, to have the skills in this. But when a facility is unorganized and you have to look for stuff, you got to go in drawers. I mean, it was annoying. It was no, no, because most of the times when you in a sister living or a group, where well, you in a group home settings, somebody tell you the dishwasher liquid is in this closet, the medication is in this closet, um, um, the basement, this is to be the basement, the dishes there, or um, this would be the food, This they can go in and out of the food, they can cook. Give, give me a brief summary of what I'm going to get myself into. No, you know what she told me? Oh, this is the medicine cabinet right here. Oh, and everybody's name is on the bucket. Okay, fine, Danny. Who was who? <laughs> Even though they picture looked something like they a little bit younger on there. But you were still, even one of the patients and still no every One of the patients kind of helped me out. Everybody talks, but it was just the whole point. You didn't do a brief summary on things. And that was what I was looking for. The house manager, she says he or she said that we'll come by and bring some gloves. Didn't do that. Didn't take a call for it. Didn't pop up and didn't call. That's, that's a red flag to me. Even though it was on a Saturday, you could at least pick up the phone and call and say, sorry, such and such, 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 such. 
but no. And again, most people start these business, they just in for the money. I mean, it's a good cup of, it's a good challenge, it's a good bread, but it was just a whole point that this is your business. You would think you would get somebody the rundown of how to do stuff or not how to do stuff, like where stuff at, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I could see if I was staff, then I know where stuff at, but I'm agency. It's like I have to find my way to find certain stuff. Like I said, one of the patients kind of helped. So one of the patients kind of helped. Hold for a second. So yeah, one of the patients kind of helped. But yeah, when she came in, I don't mean to show y'all my stomach, but it was like a small tank top. Ugh, I can't even do it, but shirt like that with some leggies. Yeah, she had the leggies on and a small jacket. Yeah, you were working third shift, but I thought you were supposed to come in professionally. Whew, this is not the first time. I would, somebody relieved me. The other person came in with some ladies on for real. At another house with some leggies on. No, some jockey pants. It's like she just kind of she just jumped out the bed basically. She had a bonnet on. Look like she had a she had her robe on with a coat. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that that that's what the, that's what it's given. I mean, you only taking care of between four to maybe three to five people in the house, but um, you coming in unprofessionally, or well, I should say unprepared. Uh, yeah, so I just pop in. Let y'all know that I will talk to y'all in my next video before I wash my face because it itch again. And I need to stop keep going back and forth. But yeah, I will talk to y'all later. See y'all later.